Stinger. What can the boys do here? Kevin Scott, Carl Skinner and Tim Mann. Kevin at the controls against Panic Attack with the experienced Kim Davis, his son Michael from Clantanum Comprehensive. Christian Bridge in that team as well. This for a place in the series final. Don't forget. Panic Attack 2. Been there before, of course. Just moving forward, cursory fashion against Stinger. Stinger with the heavier weighted weapon. Panic Attack of those lifting forks. Ah, couldn't get any purchase on Stinger. They have their own fan club, of course. Panic Attack, a little ram against the arena sidewall. Stinger, as they whiz around like that, Stinger, they can get a lot of momentum behind that weapon and it becomes almost like a pendulum with force also with venom panic attack now moving well, I thought to try and get it a broadside perhaps and attack the wheels flick it up and over but again good driving by Stinger and Kevin Scott this is panic attack trying to use those forks again look Stinger moving a more wild pattern than Panic Attack. Steadier progress by Kim Davis now. In and out of a CPZ very quickly, so Matilda couldn't get any grip on the Welsh robot. Panic Attack seems to have a scheme. Stinger seems to want to swing and spin around to get that axe, as I was mentioning, like a pendulum. Coming down with force. Comes down again. Shell steel of Stinger's real hubcaps. Not Bruce in any way, I don't think. Scratch, maybe, but not sustaining any, any real damage. Oh, and did Panic Attack go through with an attack there and just edge into a CPZ? Still against the arena side wall. Panic Attack, now it's gone into the CPZ. Matilda can come out. Grabs on a Stinger. Stinger thrust back in, almost onto the back of Panic Attack. This is close, and I think this one could well go to the judges. There's Tim Davis at controls of uh, Panic Attack, and there's Kevin Scott. You just see him the controls of Stinger. Again, riding piggyback fashion. Panic Attack doing more of the work now. Aggression, very important. Should it go to the judges? A lick of flame. Haven't seen anyone test those wheels of Stinger on uh, customised motorbike frames. Attack the top of Panic Attack. Rat attack, attack. To remind Panic Attack they're still there. It's going to go to the judges. It's close, isn't it? I think they've done enough. Just... Well, should panic attack panic, will Stinger be stung? It's all down to the judges. For the first time in this semi-final, they're called upon then. Let's see what they'll be reviewing. Stinger, first attack, and two. Panic attack, this time, though, comes back. Stinger swings wildly. Was panic attack the more controlled robot? Did they finish the stronger? I think they did. Incredibly, the judges are unanimous. This. But again, there's only one point in it. Remember, they're looking at style, control, damage and aggression. And on aggression, they've gone for Stinger! <laughs> Listen to that crowd. The crowd don't agree. The crowd are split down the middle. You've got this people shouting Stinger and you've got people booing the decision from the panic attack crowd. How do you feel about that? Well, it's, I think it's right. His weapon is naturally more aggressive. Uh, there wasn't a lot we could do with him, except pushing him around. He's such a difficult robot to fight, isn't he? awful. And every time we got him, he would just slip out of the, our grasp. And unless you get him out of the arena... You, exactly. That's the only way to win against that's him, right, really, isn't it? Yeah. You've got to hope that his motor's burned down or something like that. Yeah, well, next year we'll have uh, pneumatics and fire them out of the arena. You're gutted, you, aren't you? You're cut <laughs> yeah. to tears. Yeah, Don't you worry about it, though. A gallant effort... You're always lovely to have, and we'll have you back next year, won't we? Yes. Bigger, better. <laughs> Remember, ladies and gentlemen, here for Panic Attack! Well, they're obviously disappointed. It was a tough call. I wouldn't want to be in a, ju a judge in that one. One point in it. And it's a shame something had to lose, but I'm glad it wasn't yeah. us. You've won a place in the Robot Wars final. That's what we came for. And I said to you early on that I, I believed you could go all the way because it's such a slippy little customer, your robot. <laughs> so, good luck in the final, lads. Good Thank luck in the much. final. Let's hear it for the Stinger Posse! <laughs> Stinger!
Nottingham for president, said one of those banners. They're through to the series final. Panic Attack out next up. Wild thing against Hypno Disc. Oh dear. Roboteers, stand by. Can anything withstand the brutal weapon of Hypno Disc? Dad Ken, father of the twins, Dave and Derek Rose, and Wild Thing Nick Adams. The driver, Isabel, his daughter, is the weapons operator. Ooh, and a grimace, too. Two. One. Two. school in order shot, Isabel and Jake. Do they really fancy this one? And why have they got the lifting arm raised so high? No, in on the attack, the wild thing underneath it. So that's a, a promising start. A little bit of a spin. Fronting up against it, no disc again. Is that wise, I wonder? Oh! And immediately sent spinning away. Look at this. Bang and crash, like a spinning top out there, but balanced on that little rear wheel. And again, trying to use the wedge to flip Hypnodisc up and over. That really is the only tactic they can have, I would imagine, Wild Thing. A bumping, buffeting effect off Hypnodisc. Hypnodisc with a, a, a one and a half inch ground clearance, so if you can use that wedge and get it underneath, it'll be interesting. A bang and a crash. Wild Thing turns away. Still in the controls. Nick Adams a fine driver. Oh, but look at the damage sustained there on the side. Really bent and buckled, Wild Thing. And now wobbling and hobbling somewhat. And now crumpled and dented. And Hypnodiff senses that victory and a place in the series final is just around the corner. And poor old Wild Thing have done just about everything they could. A shard of metal went flying across the arena then. Look at it, it really is damage. Not Hypnodisc, but Wild Thing, of course. One of the tyres, totally crumpled, running awkwardly, but driving him, that is so bravely back into the claws of Dead Metal. Could this yet provide a huge upset? Wild Thing, Nick and Isabel Adams, and young Jake, so brave. Hypnodisc gets away, comes on another charge. Is it just me, or was that disc spinning a little bit slow? It was just me. Don't worry, hit this fast. The wild thing, how about this? For a battle, they stop the disc now. The disc has been stopped. There's the ref bot coming in. Can they immobilise it? No disc. The Rose Boys try to become a thorny subject for a wild thing once again. And in the end, it was so brave, and the applause is for that team. So brave as they fought back. Very close battle. The judge is going to have to make a decision. While they make that decision, let's look at some of the highlights of that fantastic fight. Early kamikaze charge by Wild Thing, spinning away from Hypnodisc, but they were so brave as they fought back. Again, sustained so much damage, hardly damaged Hypnodisc at all. But the courage and the style of control of Wild Thing's comeback will have taken the judge's eye. It's, this is very close. Judges have made a decision. It was quite close. But based on the awesome, destructive power of Hypnodisc, they've gone for Hypnodisc! <laughs> when I told you you were fighting Hypnodisc before, your face was a picture. You looked so right. devastated and worried. But you did a lot better than you thought you were going to do, didn't you? Yeah, we sure did. We went the distance, didn't we, Jake? You certainly did go the distance. And, and you were so tenacious, you kept coming back for more and coming back for more. And towards the end of the fight, you appeared to be the stronger robot. You were doing all the pushing. Uh, yeah, we did, but we taken a lot of damage, and uh, I guess that went against us. Yeah, your wheels are a bit damaged and your face is all ripped to, ripped to pieces. Oh, you. you look so upset, but you've done so well and you've come so far. I'm just glad we're still in one piece. Yeah, and you're still in one piece, and you've got a new face to put on, haven't you, said? Don't be too upset, you've done so well, and come back and see us next year with a bigger, better, wilder robot. Definitely. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Wild Thing! <laughs> As I was saying to them before, towards the end of that fight, they looked like they were starting to get the upper hand. Yeah, we were getting tired there. We'd, uh, we got a few good blows in to start with, but um, we were getting tired. Yeah. They, were, they were driving very, very well. They were driving well, and they were right behind you, and they are quite strong as well. They were yeah. pushing you all over the place. They are, yeah. He's, uh, he's an excellent driver. They've got yeah. good manoeuvrability, and um, it was close. Mm -hmm. The damage did it for us, though. Well, you're a finalist second year running. It's still probably the, the most destructive robot in the war. Good luck in the final. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Hypnodis! <laughs> Two robots are ready to enjoy the applause, but will they clap out in the final of Robot Wars? Bye-bye.
Atomic Kitten, Shaggy and Top Loader. Top of the Pops on BBC One in just a moment.